Hello there. <coughs> so this is Katya Patel, Zest for Yoga. And I am having a chat with Laura. And see if Laura, she will come on in a second. So I'll write down. We'll talk about the yoga teacher training. Teacher training question. So today... One question that I would like to talk about is um, am I good enough? To train as a yoga teacher. Train as a yoga teacher I just want to post that and then I'm going to pin it and Laura has joined hi Laura <coughs> okay view and waiting for Laura will be with me in a minute. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Nice yes. to see you. Likewise. Okay. You look very summery today. I know the sun is out in this little in this little studio that I have here. The sun is out and it's lovely, lovely and warm, you know. <laughs> Perfect. Here Although I can see the side, it's pretty cold. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I do have my, my winter gear on. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I have mine to hand as well. Uh, it's nice to see you today, Katya. And uh, we're going to talk about um, this question, about the yoga teacher training question. Am I good enough? It always kind of comes up. And this is something that people, whenever they are... Uh, applying for the the teacher training program they always have this big doubt um yeah. am I good enough is my practice good enough I can't do you know headstand or I've picked up an injury I'm not able to do very much at the minute um so I just wondered what your thoughts were on that when people come to you and they and they say all of these things I'm not I, I really want to do it but I'm not sure about you know the injuries my capabilities you know what do you think about that well I think I get the same question all the time so I think with injuries if we start with that if there's a, a current injury um, although at first glance it might seem like uh, it is a hindrance However, I think the injury is a very good teacher for uh, a teacher, but also for a student teacher to see how to work around that and how, um, you know, how pot potential, their potential students, how they feel and what they might be able to do and uh, how to help them. So I think although this is... Um, uh, so, um, although this is an inconvenience as you are training and uh, maybe everyone else uh, can do everything, but um, it is a good thing on the long hold and it, it shouldn't deter anyone because that's that's often a question um also then if uh, if it still makes sense and i would say definitely it will it makes sense for them to to do the training and um and it will help them and they still can do all of it in a modified way yeah because yes. that's what we need with uh, with our with our students as well to be able to modify and to cater to what they can do and for that it is really a great uh, a, a great opportunity in disguise yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely and i i agree i agree completely with that and it you know for for a confidence for, from a from a confidence perspective for the student teacher that 
you know, as you say, an injury is, even though it's really super frustrating and um, it can be really sort of demoralizing as well. And it feels like it's such an obstacle to change the perspective on it, as you say, for it to be an absolute, uh, an absolute gift, because for sure, if something is happening to you, then you, it will be happening to somebody else. And I almost um, always kind of view my injuries that I have had, that you become then an expert in uh, in managing those injuries and you kind of you read all around it and you become such an expert you know which yes. it is an absolute gift an absolute gift you know it is yes absolutely i mean i have had lots of i mean still have lots of issues and i always find it interesting although also i find it annoying however at the same time i think oh I haven't tried that yet and um and uh, you know you 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 just get uh, like I say, a different perspective and you get little tips that you can then share. Yeah, and it's enhancing your teaching skills, definitely. Absolutely. You know? Abs yeah, yeah. And absolutely. So, and so with, the, with the, 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 other, the other aspect of confidence for teachers, you know, and this student teachers and this doubt that they have, um, yes. just to speak, about, to speak about that and the developing the confidence of student teachers when they when they really think I'm not I'm not good enough um or there's also this little uh this imposter uh notion that people think you know I'm 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 not really a yoga teacher you know I'm, a, oh, I'm <laughs> yes. an imposter yoga teacher yeah 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 and I think most definitely there's, that, comes, uh, that, that comes in for sure. People have doubt, they have a lack of confidence. Um, but one of the teacher, when, when we're in the course, there's the, we keep practicing, practice teaching, practice teaching, developing the skills, developing, uh, developing the, our, um, how we can adapt, how we can modify. Uh, how we can just basically gain that whole sort of skill set with our confidence. And, you know, it's something that it keeps, it keeps growing and you keep adding to it mm. for sure. Yeah. And, yeah. The, and I think also, you know, once, once they are in a group, um, you know, to uh, everyone sort of goes towards the same goal, becoming a yoga teacher. And um, it, it is pretty motivating because groups, they usually are very much um, diverse in terms of their abilities and uh, where they are in their practice. And I know in my last group, uh, one of my students, uh, she was uh, Ashtanga uh, practitioner and she could do whatever. Uh, you know, <laughs> because also she, the, it was just her body and, and others, in, <clears throat> they, they do also, they had injuries or there are areas that where well, they just got stuck with and they do motivate themselves and they do motivate each other, which is good. But what I find more important is the, um, the approach and the attitude that uh, student teachers have to, you know, themselves and the learning because um, um, you know the practice must be developed and uh, a regular uh, a regular self practice is extremely important and I feel once they have gone into that they all improve in their in their practice and in their asana practice um, tremendously and um, they might be also more motivated, you know, to, to go to workshops or try different things in order to learn more so. Um, but what I also find really important is not to forget that their aim is to not, to, not necessarily to be able to do all the fancy poses, yeah, but their aim is to teach. So this shift of, um, you know, they are being able to teach and, um, and, um, and th that this is their main, uh, their main aspect and their main 
passion, motivation for the course, you know, because that's, that's really important. So to be established in their, in their, in their practice, in their yoga practice, and to maintain that and to keep it, keep it fresh, keep it current, um, and to have a little bit of faith um, that, that you can do it, the yes. the support of your peer group the support of your of your teachers as well and um, i think as well if anybody's applying to the teacher training course and they think that you know i'm not i'm not good enough i'm no, not, you know you i really want to do it down with, with your connection can you hear me now so we are talking at the moment um, about the course reconnecting. Okay. Uh, about injuries that people who um, or yoga enthusiasts will have to, if they want to go into uh, yoga teacher training, if injuries should be a reason for them not to join. Um, or if they feel in their own practice they are not good enough um, in their in their own eyes in their own views if they don't feel good enough so mm -hmm. how um, how to get about that you're back I'm back I'm back I'm back <laughs> <laughs> technology <laughs> technology I know exactly okay. but I think this is sort of to to what we what we just said was to their own practice you know, creating, uh, establishing a regular home practice for themselves is super important. Um, the, the community they will have with, um, with their peers will also motivate them. And um, mm -hmm. they will see, you know, everyone is uh, at, a different, at a different level or a different ability and all abilities are fine. Yeah. So, um, and... Um, and what else did we say? So I, I think I think as well, Katya, that when I think what's really important when you are applying for a teacher is to be able to speak to your tutors and um, the course tutors on the group and yes. to to bring any to bring any doubts or any concerns that uh, that you might have and so your your tutor will be able to highlight if there's any gaps or anything that we need to really focus on to maybe just gain a little bit more understanding or a little bit more pre-course uh, pre-course pre knowledge so that you feel again uh, that your confidence you have confidence coming into the course as well you know, the, the, the conversation that you would have and the discussions that you would have with your course tutor, you know, as you're applying are super, super important, you know, because you establish that relationship of any concerns and the course tutor That's is right. able to develop, develop, um, you know, if there's any little, any gaps or any concerns there. Yes. That's right. And also, um, there's always the opportunity if students want to work on something particular, you know, to give them some extra ideas on what they could do or what they could focus on uh, when they're practicing at home. The other thing what, uh, what I find is uh, important to, to bear in mind is that every time in our courses, for example, when we are meeting, we're looking at one or two different asanas that we are, uh, uh, that we are analyzing and um, that we are starting to teach. And these are the main focuses then for the home practice uh, for the coming, coming weeks or the coming week uh, till, till the next, uh, till we meet next. So there's ample of time to, uh, to, to, get to know in depth several postures, you know, that are within a, a, a course syllabus. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that, that, is, also, that is also one point um, that uh, is good to bear in mind. So the question, am I good enough to be a yoga teacher? I think definitely the, the confidence was the, big, was the big one and how we address the confidence. Have a little bit of faith in, in yourself. Keep good discussions That's and awesome. also maintain your, your yoga practice. Be really established and keep developing it. Keep developing it. Injuries are not an issue. Injuries are the biggest learner that, that we have for sure. That we have, yes, absolutely. Okay that will really help us to connect with the students that we, that we, teach, that we teach later. Yes, absolutely. So I also agree with you. Is it, a, is it a hindrance? No, is it an inconvenience? Yes, yes. But is it, uh, is it a reason not to join? Definitely not. It's always what I find also, with, which comes with the confidence is um, to see your own abilities, and once you see your own abilities and you see them in uh, as they are, not as you would like them to be, maybe what you can aspire for, that, that's, always, that's always good. But um, to see them and uh, to be ready to address them, to see, you know, I know I need to work with strength or um, I, I need to work with mobility and, um, and that can be a focus and will be a focus for the length of the course. Yeah. So summing up, is it uh, is one is good enough? Absolutely yes. Especially if if the how shall I say the true passion is there. You know where mm -hmm. you think that that's really something I want to do. Um, then yes, because then the motivation to to work on whatever there is will be there as well. It's really nice to speak with you today, Katya. Yes. Let us know. Um, Laura, let us know where everyone can get in contact with you, get in touch with you. So you can get in touch with me um, via my website, shaktiyoga.co.uk and um, here on Instagram, if you want to connect with me on Instagram. And, uh, and Katya, you are Zest for Yoga. That's it. And for me, it is a zest for yoga through all the different platforms. Brilliant. Okay. See Excellent. you soon. So see you soon. That's right. And, uh, you know, we have to mention we are doing a workshop. We are doing a not a workshop. We're doing a big workshop. <laughs> We, are, we have a, a 300 hour certificate course from the BWIQ starting in end of March. Right, and at the moment we are enrolling. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, good. Lovely to speak to you and nice. speak to you next Tuesday. Okay, fantastic. Okay. See you then, Katya. See you. Bye, Take everyone. care. Bye bye. 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 Okay, good. Thank you. That was our little chat with questions that you would like to ask us. Uh, DM us on Instagram or any message, uh, Messenger on Facebook. And hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.